On Sunday, September 18, 1927, there had been an earthquake in Fresno, California that was felt as far south as Bakersfield. And the weather in New York City was fair, a little warm. The Jack Dempsey Gene Tunney fight was only four days off. AT&T stock closed at 175 and 5 eighths, down 3 eighths of a point. And Macy's advertised chic new cloche hats for 934. The cover story on the Times Magazine section that Sunday in 1927 was about the mad rush on all continents to control oil. And a four-door Nash was going for $1,300. The 18th Amendment to the Constitution had made beer, wine, and liquor illegal throughout the country. Cecil B. DeMille's King of Kings was on movie screens, and Siegfried opened another Follies. And in the Paramount Building in New York, the Columbia Phonograph Broadcasting System, yeah, that was the name then, was about to give its first broadcast as a radio network. They had 15 stations, and tonight was the big night. An opera had been written by Deems Taylor and Edna St. Vincent Millay. It was called The King's Henchman. And the broadcast was scheduled for 9 p.m. But there was an electrical storm out west, and so the Columbia Phonograph Broadcasting System didn't get its first network broadcast started until 10 minutes after 9. Well, 50 years later, they've got their act together, and tonight's the beginning of the celebration. Like a member of the family like Aunt Jane and Cousin Joe like a member of the family a part of the loves and the laughs and the tears part of our lives for the past 50 years every evening after dinner just isn't home unless the family is gathered in front of the set laughing with Lucy and Carol Burnett and our favorite uncle CBS how and mother To match every mood, a day hasn't happened that didn't include our kiss and cousin CBS.
Dick, Arthur, G, Robert, Q, Sinatra and Crosby, to mention a few. The great birds and Alan, that lovable pair, Hitchcock and Cronkite and Sonny and Cher, from New Heart and Neighbors and Griffith and Gay. All of your relatives is just wanna say. CBS On The Air, sponsored by the Johnson & Johnson family of products. For generations, handle with care, handle with love, has meant handle with Johnson's. And by Buick and its dealers across the country. Buick, 75 years of cars that reflect the thinking of the times. For 50 years, CBS has reflected the times. Tonight, CBS On The Air looks at the best of Sunday through the years. Remember when Ed Sullivan brought us Elvis? And The Beatles? Television first, second to none. As Barbara colored everything wonderful, Tommy and Dick colored everything fun. Remember Jack? And Lassie? And Snoopy? Well, if you do, stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 